And a lot of us in life will have friendships that are very superficial, and God's calling us to learn something about developing friendships that go far beyond the superficial, that have a depth of commitment associated with them. Why? Because real friendship is not, it's not a like on Facebook. It's not a label that you use. I believe there's been this deterioration and this kind of watering down of even the word friend nowadays. Because when you say somebody's my friend, the natural tendency that we have is we think in terms of social media, well, they liked my page on social media. They gave me a thumbs up. Dear ones, can I just remind you today that the next time you need money, call one of your thumbs up. And not everybody that thumbs up you is your friend. I thumb up people all the time. On 270, they let me in. I don't know them. I'm not even sure that I like them. It's a very superficial society that we live in. And so we have to begin to break away from the concept that society is kind of pushing upon us of what friendship is all about. And we need to get back to the Bible. What does the Bible say about real friendship? Not, just, not what social media says or culture says about friendship, but what does the Bible say about friendship? And real friendship is a commitment. It's a commitment to demonstrate what the Bible calls agape love to people in our lives, the people that God will bring our way and connect us to in relationship. It's a God kind of love. Let me read for you about this God kind of love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. I'm reading through from the Passion Translation. I want you to listen closely to the description of the God kind of love. Love is, that's the God kind of love. The actual Greek word there is the word agape. It is associated with God. Only he has this kind of love and he calls us to express it. Love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessings comes to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect nor selfishly seek its own honor. Love is not easily irritated or quick to take offense. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. Love is a safe place of shelter, for it never stops believing the best for others. Love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. Love never stops loving. 